Hello and welcome to Munich. I am at Munich Airport in transit as I have just arrived from Zurich on a Lufthansa CRJ900. And it's again Lufthansa I am going to fly next. My flight today will take me to Boston in the United States and I was booked in economy class. However, I received an email that I could bid for a business class upgrade and about two days ago I got confirmation that my bid was accepted. Let me know in the comments below if you are interested in such information and if you would want to know how much I paid for the flight and the upgrade bid. But I'm pretty sure you are since you are watching this video and maybe some of my other videos too. Oh dear, I just realized I've got the quadruple S on my boarding pass. This basically means I have to join a special security lane for extra screening, which was very, very thorough. It's good that I skipped the lounge, as this extra screening was quite time consuming. I eventually made it to the gate, where I already saw the gem of this journey and one of the reasons why I booked this flight, the Airbus A340-600. This latest version of the A340 family used to be the longest aircraft ever with 75.3 meters beating the Airbus A380 by over 2 meters. Nowadays it's the Boeing 747-8 that holds the record with 76.3 meters. Lufthansa is one of only three or four airlines worldwide still, or better, again, operating this aircraft type, since they took it out of storage only recently. And today it's my chance to fly on it again, most likely for the last time ever. How exciting! But enough talking, it's time for boarding. After a very warm welcome, I made my way to business class, passing this very roomy but quite open first class cabin. I mean quite open in terms of privacy. But soon the Lufthansa Group will receive a new cabin heart product that looks very promising. My seat today is 15k in the very last row of the business class cabin, which is configured in a 2-2-2 layout. Since I have a window seat, I would have to climb over my neighbor when leaving the seat, as all window seats are without direct aisle access. On my seat I found this massive pillow and a fluffy blanket. The headrest is adjustable. Luckily, as my 6 foot 4 inch require a little more space. I was served a welcome drink, which I still find a wonderful treat. The menu was handed out, so I already could think about my food choice for this flight. And here are the details of today's wines. Unfortunately, there are no individual air fans, but the prompt to buckle up, so let's do so as we are about to push back. Sollte der Druck in der Kabine sinken, fallen automatisch Sauerstoffmasken aus der Kabinendecke.
What's pretty smart is this glasses holder right by the coat hook. Not sure if I have seen that before. We are on our way, so it's time to get even more comfortable. There's some storage space right underneath the TV screen. And more here as well. And there's even a bottle of water already waiting for me. The food space for sleeping looks quite small and it narrows down due to the fishbone layout of the business class. In the armrest I find the table and this TV remote control. The other armrest is flexible, so I can reach the little headphone compartment that contains a pair of Lufthansa branded AKG noise cancelling headphones. It's possible to go online on this flight, however, it comes at the cost even for business class passengers. With some airlines, business class offers complimentary internet access, but not with Lufthansa it seems. The screen is relatively small compared to newer business classes and it can be adjusted a bit like this. This is an overview of all the entertainment items. Navigating the menu with the remote control cursor is a bit of a fumble, but eventually you get used to it. Let's check out the movie selection, which is surprisingly extensive. I didn't finish scrolling through the whole list, as you would get bored otherwise. A refreshing hand towel was provided, which means food is near. As you saw before, the table is hidden in here and can be pulled out like this. This little knob allows me to move the table around, so I could leave the seat if needed. I was offered a glass of Die de Deveau Bru with some nuts to start the dining experience. Afterwards, I was served the appetizer. This lunch was going to be served course by course and not all on one tray, which I highly appreciate. I went for the tuna tataki with avocado and vegetable, served with a salad and a bread bun. It was delicious and I don't think I ever had that on an aircraft before. Check out the Lufthansa branded cutleries.
The main course is served and my choice was the veal steak with lemon mustard sauce, polenta and ratatouille vegetable. And finally cheesecake dessert, together with a cup of tea. Our route today takes us quite far south, it seems. I'm used to fly over or close past Greenland when traveling to the US. I have to indulge this view with the two engines, as nowadays you would see only one engine on most flights. I'm such an aviation geek. If I'm not mistaken, Lufthansa is the only A340-600 operator that has the lower deck restroom configuration. It is located within the economy class cabin and I'm very curious to check it out. There are quite many toilets down there and nicely hidden from the main cabin. What an interesting layout. The economy class cabin is configured in a 242 seat layout and are equipped with fairly large screens for entertainment. And here's the premium economy class cabin in a 232 layout and extra legroom. About halfway into the flight I tried to have a nap. My business class seat offers a lie flat position which is good especially for side sleepers like me. About two hours later the light went on as another snack before our approach into Boston is served. The pre-landing snack is composed of vegetable ravioli on tomato sauce, bread and pretzel plus a fruit yogurt combo. My jacket was handed back to me and the cabin is prepared for landing. This is also a good chance to summarize my impressions. The business class cabin feels quite outdated, but I understand that Lufthansa doesn't want to refit the cabin for the most likely short remaining time of the A340-600. The aircraft itself of course is a highlight and the cabin staff was absolutely lovely. Very welcoming, engaging and always with a smile, so definitely no complaints from my side. Food was nice too and I really liked the course by course surfing, the welcome drink and the beverage service before the main meal. Would I book Lufthansa business class again? I would say so. Don't you also love watching the landscape below while approaching an airport, especially when it's a completely new place like it was for me? Welcome to Boston, I'm very excited to be here. We are rolling to our parking position next to this British Airways A380, but hold on a second, what's the matter with this winglet? I surely have never seen that before, how bizarre. I hope you liked this flight review and please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. See you next time. Bye for now.